Uh, welcome back to Denny here. It's Arch in part two of this brown trout wood carving project. Today I'm going to be working on the fins and going to be finishing the detail on the mouth and gills area here. So I also want to remind you that I will be giving away a cuts all four piece burr set from Bearwood Supply Company. And I'm also going to be giving away a color pencil sketch that I did of this project. So in order to win, you have to be a subscriber and uh, leave me comments. So if you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate it if you consider subscribing uh, and hit the notification bell to follow along with this project. So I'm going to turn the camera around here and get started. Okay, so I'm going to work on finishing up detail on the head here. I still have to uh, carve in the branchiostical rays here and uh, work on shaping this mouth. Also, after studying some reference photos I need to this tip of the nose is a little too rounded I need to flatten it out a little bit point it just a little bit more so um, I'm gonna get started on that here get my foot pedal turned around here I can reach it and I'm just gonna take this down a little bit here Did I turn it off Alright, I'm going to be using a, this little diamond tip, it's got a flat tip. See that or not? Let me get up here. Rings. Right up. This went to a little tiny ball diamond. I'm gonna make these grooves just a little bit bigger. Kind of round the mouth edges it off a little bit. kind of hard to see what I'm doing inside here I've decided not to cut the head off and I'm just gonna I think I can get deep enough with my bits to get the detail that I need inside the mouth Thank you. 
If there's a uh, little fold right here in this pocket where that maxillary folds up, but there's always these little fine white lines that kind of come outside the edge. Um, you can see where Bob Berry put them in right here. And you can see them in this painting a little bit here, but you can see them right here. So I'm gonna work on putting that fold in it now. I'm not real happy with this side of the maxillary, but it is what it is now. <laughs> I think it'll be fine though once I get it painted. All right, so I did a, uh, was working on the fins and I've got the um, pectoral fins here done, but I want one fin, the, the outboard fin here to be out, similar to this. And then, but I want the, the inboard fin to be more folded against his body so the attachment point has got to be different um, so I've tried to come up with a way and, and I've never done this before so I come up with this had to work with it off off of uh, off camera because I wasn't really sure how I was gonna do it but what I'll do I've got this tab here and I will make an insertion here to where the fan will, will kind of lay naturally in the muscle of the fish there. And I'll build up some of it with a, uh, with a little bit of epoxy putty later. But it was hard to do that muscle layer which which kind of rides like this. I don't know if you see that or not. So over here, it's going to be fine. I'll be able to do that. So this will, these will fit in. Uh, let me get it out. These will fit in nice like that. But over here, I can't. There's not enough there to make that sit against the body that's what I'm trying to say so basically what I've done was on these the tab will be on the end that goes into the body but on this one the tab is going to be on coming out on the side so it'll go into the body here and then it'll it'll have that natural lay against the body look there so 
Anyway, I hope that ex I explained that well enough. <laughs> so, but what I'm gonna do here is uh, finish uh, working on these fins. And I was just working on this one off camera just to kind of see if that's how I wanted to do it. And I think it is. So, um, I'm gonna start working on these others and get them down a little closer to where I want them. My goal is to make the, the fit and finish of these, the, especially the pectoral fin and the, and the pelvic fins, I want them to be a super tight, clean fit and finish on there so that I can paint these separate of the body and then add them on with, with just minimum touch up when I, when I actually place them in the body. Um, I've had a lot of issues with that before and I've always thought about doing it, but just my quality of work on the fit and finish of these is a little left, less to be desired. <laughs> so, but I've been working on that with each piece. So, uh, like I say, that's my goal. And if I mess it up, I can always glue them in permanently and just paint around them. But something like this, with it being that close to the body, it's going to be real hard to paint behind here. So and it'll be hard to paint the back side of the fin. So I want to be able to uh, paint this separate, get all the detail painted that will go in here and then, and then place and then glue that in place and, and uh, make it seamless. So I hope I explained that well enough. This is the dorsal fin. So I'm going to work on thinning it down. And then I'll do these others off camera, uh, but this will show you what I do. Let me put that low here. So I've got my lines drawn out. That's the center line of the fin. And you can see that's the motion I want in the back. But I draw this little eighth inch line out off of the center line and I carve down to that and get it down to that and then I start thinning it down from there. So, but this just gives me a guide that I can go down to. Once I get it down to the motion, then I start thinning it down closer to the center line there. Let me get my ball on here. Find that down a little bit with sandy bad you can kind of see what it's going to do then when i get the other ones done i'll show you uh, show you the final result there okay so i use this little bit here i think it's a typhoon bit it's not a cuts off but it's um it's just this little round 
it's about a quarter of an inch or so in diameter but it has with the shaft it has about an eighth inch cut maybe three sixteenths and what I do and it's rough around all around the edges and what I do is I just run it to the shaft to that depth and that'll make my that makes my tab it goes down in it and I just run it along the side there until I get it to the thickness I want Trying to follow that curvature and then I've got my center line drawn in where the fin will go and then I just carve down to the depth of the shaft and I'll start off slow shallow here And I work my way down to the depth of the shaft. And this is where the fit and finish comes in. So it's not long enough, so I gotta make it longer. And I also need, I forgot about this, I also need to cut off a little bit of the front here. And I need to cut off a little bit of the back. And since this is round, it's making the rounded hole on the ends. So I'll round off the ends, the same radius or close to it. And then I start fitting it in there. See where it's gonna fit. So I got a gap there, so I know I need to start working out the edges a little bit, which will be a little bit up this way. Get here where you can see it. And then a little bit on the back, back here. And the same on the other side. I just do a little bit at a time. I don't want to take too much because that's where I usually get in trouble as I try to take too much off. Three hours later. So it's getting closer. So I'll just keep working on it till I get it almost a flat flush with that. All right, well, it started raining on me here. So I hope you can hear me above the rain on the, my metal roof here. <laughs> But I've got all the fins cut out. Uh, this is a pectoral fin that'll go on this side. It'll be close to the body. 
and then this pectoral fin will be on this side, but it'll be more out like this. And then of course the pelvic fins and I've got the slots cut for the dorsal and the adipose. So all I have to do now is cut the slots for the anal fin and for the pelvic fins and the pectoral fins. So, um, but I'm also gonna start working on these fins a little bit. So you can see I've drawn, got the fin ray detail drawn out here. And I'm just using this little barrel uh, cylinder diamond here. Get this camera down where you can see a little better. I'm just going in between the rays that I drew. And I'm just doing a slight little line. All the way down to the end. The minute I'll take a ball and make those a little bit bigger. And this high speed rotary tool, this marathon, been kind of a game changer for me. So much, do so much more detailed work with it. Defining it with the ball, just by cutting a little groove around it. I'm not sure what this is called. If you know what it is, let me know in the comment section. All right, since I got once I got the little groove around it, I'm just taking this my sander here and blending it in with the body. that little pin there and I'll take my little uh, sandwich here blend that even more here a little bit You can see that now. I went on both sides there. All right, let me get back on these fans. I don't know, I got sidetracked and wanted to do that. So <laughs> I was actually looking at the fit for the pectoral fin and it reminded me. So I needed to put that on there. So anyway get back on these fans. I'll have to do a little bit of putty work there. Just a little bit of a gap, but that'll be easy to fill in. All right, let me work on the other side here.
All right, so I've uh, made some adjustments. I shortened this fan just a little bit. It was just a tad bit too long. And then I moved that one a little farther forward so that they, so that they match where they are here now on the, on the base. fell off the floor but anyway that's where that's going to go now i've got the pelvic fins i've got them lined up at the angle i want them to be and then the, the tab i'll cut the tab for then on both sides So let me cut these out here. I've just got this little saw blade here. Turn it down. cut these out, slotch out for the tabs for these. So let me get, I'm gonna step on this fan, let me get this fan picked up. <laughs> All right, I gotta build a new set of pectoral fins. Let's see. How's oh, this one? This one look. You know what? I might be able to get that in this piece here. I think it will. Hot diggity dog. All right, I'll leave that in there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I got the fin remade and it's in the slot. They're slightly off kilter. They're not quite straight. And let's see here, let's get this one in here. This one in here.
so I got my little tick marks in here where the base of the rays will be. So I'll start drawing those in here and see if I can get you in here where you can see. And I'm not making them straight out. They're not coming straight out. They're going to curve slightly with the with the fin. Now these right down here in the middle may come straight. As they come to the end, they're going to curve slightly. So I'm just coming all the way to the end here. And then they fan out a little bit. Okay, so now I'm putting in the little splits in the end of the fin rays. And I'm just using this little tiny disc um, diamond burr. All right, the tail is done. I will be putting little splits in the edge. This kind of thins it down and it also puts little splits in it. I'll cut these eye holes in here real quick. Have the eyes made yet now we'll do that off camera but i do have a video link to how i make the eyes so check that out but i just use this little carbide cutting burr here it's flat on the top It also it also has the uh, burrs also go on the top, so it it'll cut straight down. Like I mentioned before. 
I'm gonna make sure they they're even on the side of the head where they're supposed to be. So I'll look down at it, look at it from the front. make adjustments and I did something off camera also I had the maxilla bones I messed around and got them too thin and so what I've done was I took some uh, epoxy sculpt and built that back up and then recarved it to where it's right. So I did I did all that off camera. all the nostrils in here. Sorry, you probably couldn't see that. They have just a little bit of a ridge around them. The back one's a little bit bigger than the front one. It's almost kind of oblong. Clean that up around the nostril area there with a little bit bigger bit. sockets all right I don't know if you can see this or not but I'm gonna use this little tiny this is a little tiny diamond needle tip I need to pull it out just a little bit because I'm gonna try to do the teeth on this just a little bit more length on it. So if you can see this or not here.
showing up even. It's getting closer. All right, that's gonna be it for part two of this brown trout carving project. Got all the fins done and detailed. They're not mounted permanently. I just kind of got them stuck in there for show. And all I have left to do now is to touch up a little bit around the face and gills. Just basically some cleanup work, some fine sanding, and I'll do that off camera. But part three coming up, I'm gonna be burning the scales on, and that's gonna going to be a long monotonous job uh, won't make you suffer through all of it just kind of show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and then uh, it, but it should be a fairly short video and then after that the fins will get fins and eyes will get mounted I still got to make the eyes also I also want to remind you that I'm going to be giving away this four-piece cuts all burr set from Bearwood Supply Company and then I'm going to be giving away this color pencil sketch that I did of a brown trout and all you have to do to win is to be a subscriber and you have to leave me comments in the comment section let me know which one you want or if you have any questions and then at the end of the series i'll use a random generator to pick a winner from the comments but i appreciate you guys watching if you're new to the channel i'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on part three coming up